this video I'm going to show you how to use um, the iperf command to test your bandwidth and throughput uh, on your network. So I'm, I've got this uh, network um, set up here and you know, I've got 10 gig links, I've got a router, a switch, a client, a server, and I want to verify I'm getting the throughput you know I'm ex I should be expecting. And I should be getting around uh, 10 gigabits per second and I need a way to verify that and that's what the iperf command uh, can do. So to use it, you need to download it and I will link to it in the notes. Um, I'll just link to this uh, URL here and then you just come to the latest version and it'll download a zip file and you will extract that zip file. And then you'll copy this on to the client and the server. There's no install file. You just copy the files to both uh, to two systems. And then one will act as a client, one will act as a server. So on this computer, I've already got it installed, but I like to create um, a folder on the root of the C drive. I call it iperf. And then I just copy these two files and paste it in there. And then I'll do the same thing on the server. So let me bring up my server. Um, I don't have a folder created yet, so I'll create a folder. And you can call it anything, anything you want, it doesn't matter. So now I'll copy the two files over to the server. And that's it for the installation, very simple. So now you need to turn, uh, run the command on both uh, endpoints, make one the server and then the other will be the client. So uh, I'm gonna make this one the server. So you just open up the command prompt and then you need to browse to the uh, folder where you place the files. And then just type iperf3 space dash s and you'll get the server listening on port uh, 5201. As to the default port, you can change it. And I'll, um, I've got different examples on my website that I'll link to that shows you how to change the port. Uh, but the server is ready. So now you go back to the client and you browse to the, the folder. And this time you do iperf3 and you'll do dash C for client and then the server, and in my case it is dot three, oh, dot four. And there you can see it running. So it's the, ser the client sends data to the server. And you can see I was transferring at uh, 4.6, 4.3 uh, gigabits per second and the the end here when it's done it'll show you uh, your the the average so over 10 seconds by default it'll run a, a test for 10 seconds and you can change that and this is your average for those 10 seconds so you can see I'm not quite getting the 10 gig uh, bits per second that I should be expecting and that could be for a number of reasons um, so let me run another test and I'll show you how to run a longer test. Let's see. You can do that with the dash T, and then you put in the, the seconds you want to run the test. And I'll do it for 30 seconds. And while it's running, you can pull up the task manager, go to performance, go to your Ethernet, and you can see in real time how much bandwidth is being used on your uh, client computer. And you can see right here it's 4.9, 5.3 gigabits a seconds, and this graph here will dynamically change. At least it should update. Here it goes. It'll start reflecting the the real speed. And so let me do a little longer test because it stopped. So there's 60 seconds. And there you can see it's sending 
5.2, 5.5 gigabits a second. So for whatever reason, I'm not getting uh, the 10 gig throughput I should be expecting. And that, again, that can be for multiple reasons. I mean, you're, you're probably not going to be the only client on your network. So, you know, there's going to be other clients using bandwidth. So another thing you can do is you can reverse the test. So um, again, the client is sending and the server is receiving, and you can reverse that. You can have the server send and the client receive, and you can do that with the dash R. And using this really helps because you can see right here, now it's you can see the client's receiving 6.6 .6 gigabits per second. Um, you can also limit the bandwidth. Uh, there's all kinds of commands. You can, it, you can do a dash help to see all of the command line options. Uh, the program was really designed to help tune um, network performance, um, find issues with the Windows sizing, uh, buffer sizing, um, and then tune your system uh, based on what the tool finds. Um, but I, I find it really useful to run a quick test um, on your bandwidth to see, you know, what your network performance is. Um, but another helpful command is the, I think it's, yeah, dash P. So if you don't want to use, so the tool by default will use all the available bandwidth that it can use. And for whatever reason, you may want to limit that. Say you want to limit it to 100 megs a second. And you can see it's not using the full bandwidth. And again, I can bring this up. And you can see it won't go over 100 megabits per second right there. You can verify it. So that's it. Really simple command to use. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.